hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well i don't know why i'm so enthusiastic when i feel rubbish um i don't know if you can tell from like my nose my throat but i am not well um there's some sort of cold flu thing going around um i haven't had my flu vaccine yet so i hope it isn't the flu it's not covid because i've tested myself multiple times so it's not covid so in case anyone's on here like have you tested yourself i have tested myself it's not covid multiple times um i'm so sorry it has been a giant fat minute um more than a giant fat minute it's been nearly three weeks it's been three weeks nearly four weeks since we got back it's definitely been four weeks since we got back from greece has it three four weeks yeah nearly four weeks because um, i put the vlog up the day after we got back so um yeah it has been a while but that's just because when we got back there was we had a few things going on and then there was there was nothing to vlog there was nothing to do um me and james are trying to save up for a house so we're in most weekends we're doing stoptober so we're not drinking i've just started my job so i'm i'm in work most weekends anyway um so we're quite boring at the minute so today we are going to manchester uh grandpa greens it's called just for a little bit of um food and stuff to do um I have to show you it because it's so nice. I've been dying to go. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going. Um, basically, it's in Manchester, um, and they do all sorts of like food, milkshakes. Like, look at these milkshakes. Doing nothing for the diet, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, they do like full Englishes. They do eggs Benedict. They do. <gasps> I'm so excited to do every type of ice cream you could ever like Percy Pig ice cream um, but they've got these igloos at the minute they just this isn't just gonna like it's not gonna focus on me now hi um it's not got these it's not it has they've put these igloos up for um like little pop-up ones for the autumnal Christmas season. Uh, I don't know how long they're up for, does it say? No. But anyway, I've booked one of them for me and James because we just we don't get to do much. He's always in work. I've just started my job so I'm quite like you know, you just start your job and you have to be like highly committed to it. So um I've not been well. We've not done much since we came back from Greece. Uh, like I said we've had a few different things going on. We've been in most weekends like there's just been nothing to do and today was supposed to be gym little catch up vlog so I've really missed vlogging so um, it's supposed to be like a little catch up vlog get ready with me but the house if anyone watched the last part of my last last video um, the house is getting done up so the kitchen and everything is in now the floor's down but we've got the painter and decorators here today and they're hoping to be done today so if they are I will give you like a little one stop tour around the house but it just makes me so sad because I just watched um, El Darby's autumn like haul style of the house sort of video and it made me so upset because even though me and James are saving for a house it's going to take a while and um, mum and dad are getting their house done it's making me so excited but it's making me so upset because I just want to decorate it all with like autumn bits but it's their house not mine so um yeah, that's what's going on. I feel like I really need to say something. Why? Why, 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 why? I can't even remember. Oh yeah, I couldn't, um... <coughs> I couldn't vlog the get ready with me little catch up thing because if it wasn't the painters and decorators with their talking and their music background noise it was the hairdresser that comes around and does me mum's hair like a mobile hairdresser so it's her hair dryer if it wasn't that it was the builders coming around to do the last little bits if it wasn't that it was my mum bobbing in and out of my room if it wasn't that it was the dog if it wasn't that it was the guinea pigs who were still in my room behind the chair which hopefully they'll be going back down the stairs tomorrow but i'm gonna miss them when they do but i'm ready for it 
taking up so much space, my little boys. Um, and that is it. That's all that's going on. So I thought instead of like a little catch up, get ready with me for a date day, I thought I'm ready. I need to sort myself out a little bit, a bit of jewellery, get dressed. We're leaving in 15 minutes, so I need to get dressed, do a bit of jewellery. Last minute wheeze, because it's going to take us an hour to get there. And then I'll take you with us, and you can have a little look at the igloo, and what we get to eat. I already know what I want to eat. You know I have looked at that menu ten times over. I'm so excited, because they do iced coffee. Place that does iced coffee, sold. I'll go sold on that easy but I just oh, such a deep man voice today because my nose is all blocked my throat it's just that time of the year but it is my favourite time of the year but this time of the year even though it is my favourite like Halloween bonfire night like leading up to Christmas or like I'm a celebrity Christmas market it's going to be so much to do Um, it is actually about two two weeks off since I started YouTube for a year. My one year anniversary with me. Yay! <laughs> um, our pumpkin picking, oh, I love it all. But um, it gives me so much anxiety as well because it's just so much going on. If it isn't Halloween, it's bonfire night. If it isn't bonfire night, it's... Oh, I've got my cousin's birthday before bonfire night. I've got another cousin's birthday. I've got... Uh, James's dad's birthday, I've got James's brother's birthday, there's Christmas Eve, obviously there's Christmas Day, there's all that in between, like the Christmas markets, drinks, Christmas do's, um, Boxing Day is my, one of my best friend's birthdays, the day after that is James's brother's birthday, and then you've got New Year's Eve, New Year's, my birthday, James's birthday, and in between all of that, my car insurance is due and my MOT is due. I think I have three paydays. Three. And in between Christmas, New Year's, and our birthdays, and my car insurance is just one. One payday. How? 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 I don't know. I don't know. But we make it work. We always make it work. It always happens. I'm not stressing. A little bit stressing, but it's fine. Um, so I'm going to get dressed. Dressed feels right. Let's get dressed. And um, I'll catch up with you all when we're on our way to Grandpa Green's. So this is currently me. Um, I don't know what I came on to tell you. I think I just came to show you what. Oh, um, I wanted to tell you that we hadn't been completely boring. Last weekend we went to go watch the new James Bond film. The day after it was released. Just saying like, we're not that boring. <laughs> But if you haven't gone, oh, if you haven't gone to watch the new James Bond film, ten out of ten recommend it. Just um, really go for a wee before it, and don't drink too much during it. It's three hours long, and it came to like ten minutes before the end, and I just I couldn't hold it. I had to, um, and I missed the ending. So, but um, hi, this guy's not working at the minute because the painters have knocked it. But um, Kurt boots, Kurt. I can, I can never say Kurt Gaga, whatever, tights, pretty little thing, cut out dress, and me looking a bit, I don't know what's going on with my hair today, I'll try and go over it once more and put a bit of oil in it, but it's just a bit, I don't understand, Um. but yeah, so we're about to leave, I'm waiting for James as pair, because it's actually the man in this relationship that makes us late most often, even though he'll deny it, it is. He, he plays FIFA and then just forgets. And it's like five minutes before we need to leave. And he's like, <gasps> shut up. So, it's him, it's him, not me. Um, so I will vlog a little bit when we're in the car and tell James that we're taking you guys along with us. And yeah, show you what we get, show you where we're going, show you the igloo, I'm dying about the igloo. Um, I'm kind of hoping that James wears his matchy coat with me today. Not intentional, but he was describing his coat that he just bought and I've got one similar. And you are damn right knowing that I am going to wear the same coat as him. I just turn up and go, Twitties! He's going to hate it, he's going to hate it! <laughs> Hello. 
let's go hello hello we are back um i look a bit only because it is freezing outside i don't know what it is about the cold weather but no matter how much primer moisturizer fix plus spray that i put on the cold always seems to like like almost freeze me makeup off like so anyway yeah i'm trying to just get my sky to work as well i don't think it's gonna do it um yeah i was supposed to record it and like have a little this is what we've ordered this is what it looks like like how cute but when we got there the igloos were really really nice like it was just like a little pop-up tent thing that was in the shape of an igloo like it was see-through Um, the chair just basically had white fair rugs on and it was really nice Um, but it was really really cold like freezing cold so I had a steak sourdough sandwich James had a cheese and chorizo like panini thing and then I got a brownie and then James got a banana split and a Kinder Bueno milkshake. So very, very full. Like, my stomach is killing me right now. But I was supposed to just, like, scan over, record it because it was really cute. It was right by a canal. Like, it was gorgeous. It was in Diggle in Manchester. Didn't know that was a place, but it's really fancy around there. Like, the houses are huge. Um, all down Farmers Road though, it took us an hour to get there because I didn't Google it on Google Maps for booking it as a date day. Um, so yeah, if you don't really live in Manchester, I wouldn't recommend it only because the food is really nice and it is a cute place to go but just a little bit far and you have to go down these little tiny narrow roads and it's just, it's 70 miles an hour and you're like, ah! So, um, but yeah, it was nice. I didn't record it because you actually share the igloo with other people and there was a baby shower going on there was a mum and daughter out on a little like afternoon tea date um, and there was just couples in there as well and I just thought with the if it was just the couples I wouldn't be too bothered and I'd just record it because it was just intimate moments like the baby shower I didn't feel right scanning across and ruining people's moments by vlogging so I didn't but, so I'm sorry about that, but I was sat where I was sat and the baby shower was there. So I just, and I didn't want to ruin it because she was like doing the presents and having a great time and laughs and people were doing speeches. So I just didn't feel right like vlogging it. To be honest, it was a bit awkward just sat right by it. I felt involved, but obviously I wasn't. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was the date day. So I'll probably bring this vlog into tomorrow I think tomorrow we're going to go on like a little autumnal slash winter because it's freezing walk with the dog so I am um, I'll let you know but for now James has gone back to his house I've gone back to mine because I'm supposed to be packing my bag to sleep at his house but as you can see I put my dressing gown on because I'm freezing and now I'm like just just watch a film before I go so, if I don't catch up with you tonight, I will catch up with you tomorrow, my lovelies. Good morning, everyone. It is currently half nine. Um, not after the best to start this morning. So, we've been up since nine, but I've been rummaging through my bag that I packed this over at James's house since nine. Um, I can't find my pants. And I was supposed to be at Ed's rugby this morning. So, Ed's James's little brother, my cold is horrendous this morning. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, Ed is James' little brother and he's got two rugby matches this morning, so one back-to-back, -back, oh no, two back-to-back, -back. Um, and I'm supposed to be currently at the first, and I can't because I've not packed pants, so this is my current attire, my jumper which I'm supposed to be wearing today, James' is grey shorts and my boots, so I'm going to run home really quick, get some pants, um, grab some Costa coffees because it's a necessary necessity and then make it to his second match and then I think we're going to take the dogs for a walk, a winter walk this afternoon because let's face it, it's freezing, it's not autumn, it's freezing. Um, I'm currently trying to eat my little um, 
breakfast bar that I packed as well as try and encourage the dogs to eat their breakfast but they're just having none of it. So we're not off to the greatest of mornings. So the outfit's changed a bit for the bear. Bobble hat because it is freezing. The black jumper that I had on before. Black blazer. Um, black thermal leggings because again freezing and my black boots so I had to stick the hat on because, as well because it looked a bit like a horse rider without it and I'm not a horse rider even though like this I look a little bit like the burglars from Home Alone <laughs> oh god so my voice this morning um, I need to leave in a minute because me and James are going to grab Costa before the second match. So I think I'll catch up with you with James because he's not been on this vlog as of yet. Oh, I need to get that tattoo thing on my lips. Like my lips are just too much of a pale pink for my pale skin. It just blends in. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Autumn watch. What? Autumn watch. Now this is our Sunday afternoon stroll after rugby and our coffees. Yeah. What an exciting life we live. I know. I've been saying that yesterday, so there's nothing really for me to show or tell. Because okay. we don't do anything at all. Boring now. Old. Oh, well, we are old, but yeah. Good morning everyone, please excuse the state of my face, my voice, the, just the whole lot. I've just been out to get my blood done in. Um, so I've got a little water wound on my arm, but um, so I didn't vlog much last night. Um, me and James get really hangry, so it came to about half five and the roast dinner still wasn't done. And we were like, so we got a bit, we got a bit hungry, but while there's no one in the house, I just thought I'd show you my mum and dad's new little, um, Upgrade. So basically, this used to be like carpet and then uh, brown wood, and then carpet in here. And this used to be one section kitchen, little wall, and then another door, and then it was like blocked off by a wall and the living room. So they've completely, completely like knocked through. Open plan. So the couch comes today, um, and yeah. New kitchen, the backsplash comes at some point this week as well, and then we have a new garden as well this summer, or was it last summer? I can't remember now. Um, Covid all just merges into one, so I mean, I'm happy for them, but I'm also a very, very sour person because I'm like, I just want my house now. I just want to move out on my own house. So this morning's plan, oh was to get up and go get my bloods done which I've done so completed um, and now it is to sit down have my coffee and then we'll get ready to go to the gym and then I need to nip to Tesco because I want avocado on toast for my lunch so that is today's plan and then I need to clean up I need to do little bits and pieces for work tomorrow and that'll be it so I'll catch up with you throughout the day, but today is like really boring. Like my days are just so boring. I'm just so excited that the festive season is upon us so soon. So I can do more bits and pieces like the Christmas markets and things. That'll be good. So um, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Right, my lovelies, I've just got back from the gym. Um, and I went straight to Tesco looking like this, because apparently I have no shame. Um, and I've, I went purposely just to get avocados because I really want avocados on toast. I don't know if avocados are in season, I don't know if they're off season, I don't know when their season is, I don't know if they have a season, I'm not entirely sure. But um, Tesco had none, is the end of my story. And my voice is still killing me, but my cold's kind of gone, so, ish, as she says, she's like snuffles. Um, so I'm going to do me old fashioned nan trick of hot water in a glass which is really hot, Jesus Christ. And my little lemon, squeeze my little lemon in. I don't like putting the whole lemon in because I feel like it gets really bitty. Mm. Wrong way. Um, 
and then I really wanted my Pepsi Max because I always go for Pepsi Max. And then I felt fancy. I felt like, oh, if I'm getting lemons, why not limes? Because, like, you know, when you go to like out to a restaurant, you have to like have Pepsi Max or Diet Coke, and they come over and they give you it in, with limes in. I feel like it just tastes like 10 times nicer. So, in they pop. And then I also fancied an iced coffee. <laughs> so, we've got Pepsi Max, hot lemon water, and an iced coffee on the go. Speaking of which, yeah, so that is my story of the morning. I've been to the gym. I've, um, making myself three different drinks now and I bought everything from Tesco besides what I went for which is avocados and I don't want to do that now and now my thought process is have this or need oh, three different drinks and me yogurt protein pouch I, I go for the Arla ones I've got like is it the Arla one yeah I either go for the all the strawberry protein pouches, which are really, really nice, and 146 calories in the whole pouch with 20 grams of protein. All about the protein. Or Nestle vanilla protein yogurt with 15 grams of protein, or Nestle, I'm not even going to attempt it, with chocolate pieces, 15 grams of protein in. And these pots are something like 89 calories, 83, 89 calories, so. Mmm. I also need to get a shower at some point today, but I thought my thought process is if I clean my room, do the guinea pig cage, because the guinea pig cage just gets everywhere and the stink gets onto you. Um get like my room all like fresh and nice. And then I'll do like that deep shower, you know, like that deep wash your hair, deep conditioner, like oh, wash and dry your hair. How many times can you say wash your hair? And then I'll Probably chill. Not much else to do. Just wait for work for the next day, which is so sad. Oh no, I think my mum just said that we'll go on a, a winter walk. Did that look professionally done? I feel like it did. Ooh. Oh, I still need to scoop me in. My three drinks are over. Don't taste me. That is actually really nice. Pepsi Max with lime, protein yogurt, hot water with lemon, and an iced coffee. All for lunch. Which I don't know what I'm going to have now because there's no avocados. I feel like you can't really see it. So, lemon water, protein yogurt, Pepsi Max with lime, and the iced coffee. Don't know why I'm so proud of myself for all of that, but. <sighs> Challenge completed. Um, my lemon water's looking a bit bitty, but it's okay. Yeah, so my plan is, I've just stripped my bed really quickly to, um, I don't really want to show you my mattress that much, I feel like that was just enough because <laughs> me old 18 year old tan every, every day of my life. Um, and I, I used to sleep in it to get that full like 12 hour effect and now it's, what I can only describe as well, it seeped through the mattress, is me thing. And, yeah. It looks like someone's had a giant accident on me mattress, so I just not do that. But it's only fake plan, but it just looks really bad. So, me plan is to have these, chill out, watch a bit of Brassic. I think that's how you say it, but if you don't know what Brassic is on Sky, oops, I've said it really quick, twice now. Brassic. Can't really be talking really fast with this voice. Um, if you've not watched it, I really recommend it. I've not watched Squid Game yet, but my plan is to finish Brassic while I'm chilling out, drinking these, then start cleaning. And tonight, after me, because me and mum want to go on a long winter walk, I'll watch it then. But, um, I've got a few bits and pieces to do today, but I'm just going to chill out and have me three drinks and a protein pouch. <laughs> Um, but I will catch up with you all when, like, mid, mid clean, mid, we're getting the kind of vibe. Definitely need to throw out them flowers. Oops. Like, slight, slight jog on. 
I just, I went down the stairs to like take all my dishes down and start my second round of washing. And I thought, oh, I'll just have a catch up because I want food before I start cleaning. So we're having two bagel fins with chicken, Italian sausage, heck sausages. These are unreal. And only like 77 calories for two of them. And then Philadelphia lightest on the bagel. As if I've just pegged it upstairs just to show you guys what I'm having for my lunch. And here is lunch. So Philadelphia, heck sausages, thin bagels. Takes me about five, 10 minutes max. And um, if anybody else obsesses, Mimi Webb. Like, can't get enough for that song. Um, so let's have a look for today's. Oh, that's Saturday's. Oh, God. Bit ahead. Today. God, I can't get used to this. Not my macros. Is it my macros? Oh my god, I don't do this. Right, I can't remember how I did it last time. I don't know if it's just because the colours changed from like oranges and yellows to blues, which is throwing me off. But <laughs> lunch was about 347 calories, um, about 25 grams of protein. Um, yeah. So impressive for, for me. Because normally I'm the other way around. Normally I've just got loads of carbs and next to no protein. So I'm trying to, trying to change that. But... Yeah, let's have this and I've had my water, my lemon water. I've had my iced coffee that went down like three seconds. And then I shall get on with my cleaning finally. Won't we pit? Pit. Pit. What's up? Because my mum's gone out. Anytime my mum goes out, that's what he does. He stares at the door for hours until she comes home. Bless it, she's okay, she won't be long. She won't be long. Oh, he's saying hi. Oh. No, camera shy now. Oh my God. I don't know who I thought I was this morning when I thought, yeah, let's go to the gym, let's come back, let's do a deep clean. But my room is now clean, the bathroom's clean. It's just me. I feel minty. Um, My hair is... You could do a family of 40s chippy tea on my head. Um, so I'm going to get a shower and wash my hair and everything after the long walk with the dog. So big gym sesh, deep clean, bathroom and bedroom and a long dog walk. And also a deep clean the guinea pig cage and they're back downstairs and I've got my carpet little rub thing back. So my room looks a thousand times better, just with all the clean bedding and everything. So I'm going to walk the dog, come back, light some candles and then get a shower, wash my hair, face mask, fresh PJs and then I'll probably catch up with you then and probably end the vlog then because there'll be nothing else to say. And then I'm going to try and get up for you tonight. Um, but sorry it's been a bit boring, a bit bland. like. This is my life. I, I go to the gym, I clean, I go to work. Uh, anything fun I tend to do with James and that tends to be the cinema. So hopefully it'll get a little bit better when now the festive season is upon us. <laughs> Probably not though. <sighs> and back. So being for me walk, I don't think it, I was too bad. Jumper, just, I should just go to the mirror. Jump hair and new shoes. I thought it's actually quite a decent dog walking out for this. Oh god, that just pulled together last minute. I am exhausted today. Absolutely exhausted. Like so ready for bed, and it's only quarter past six, and I've still not had my shower because I've just got back from an hour. And me came home, my dad made me stir fry for me tea. So noodles, chicken, and like the stir fry 
bag of veg thing. So I'm going to eat this, uh, watch another episode of Barassic because I love it. And then I'm going to wash and dry my hair, do a face mask and get into bed. So I'll probably catch up with you when I've washed my hair and probably mid face mask. I mean, I've come on the camera in some sort of state, but I don't think I've come in this one. And just like that, showered, um, as you've just seen previously about two seconds ago. Face masked it as well. I've just put all my um, toners on and serums. So I'm just going to go in with, um, I put that on. Oh, just spat. I've put that on before I did my face mask. I just left my face mask on 15 minutes and then I just blew dry my hair just to let it set in a bit. Um, and now I'm going to go in my CeraV um, Facial Moisturising Lotion which um, I really like this one because it's got the um, SPF in it and it, it actually does it is quite thick so I do have to be careful that I don't get a build up of spots of it because it is quite thick sorry I am not the nicest person to watch put moisturiser on I'm very because I've got to be cheeks <laughs> oh god so all moisturised, um, I do a moisturiser, if I'm washing my hair I keep my hair up in the towel and then I put my body moisturiser on just to keep my wet hair out of the way while I'm moisturising because I, I don't know about anybody else but I just, I, I can't stand the feeling of when my wet hair touches me moisturised back it just feels slimy so I have to moisturise, put my pyjamas on then put my hair down to um, dry it, I just, I'm a bit, oh like that. And then lip balm is the Revolution Vanilla Lip Sleeping Mask. And I think I'm gonna go to bed. So for pajamas, so for pajamas, just been dried hair there. Um, I'm wearing the pink lounge set with my fluffy slippers, and I'm ready for bed. Got my candles going. And that's me. So my lovelies, I'll just flip you around. I've got two moths in my room and I can't stand moths, so I'm like, Ooh! so I'm not sure how much sleep I'm gonna get tonight. But um we're gonna end the vlog here. Sorry it was so boring and basic. It was just a little catch up. It was just supposed to be the day and the date, but I didn't actually end up vlogging the day. Whoops. Um so I thought, a little catch up over the weekend, but again, I'm very boring, I don't do much. On my days off, it tends to be gym, cleaning, bit of pampering, self-care, that's about it. So I will see you all in my next vlog. Bye guys.